Hello friends, this video on natural resources part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. And finally, the last process which is ammonification. So what is ammonification? So it is the process that converts organic nitrogen into ammonia. Now you might feel that ammonification suddenly came out of the way because we almost completed one cycle so because atmospheric nitrogen got converted into ammonia by nitrogen fixation then ammonia to nitrites then nitrates by nitrification then nitrates back to atmospheric nitrogen by denitrification. So these three processes together completed one cycle. So why do we need ammonification? So let us understand because in ammonification we are not converting the atmospheric nitrogen to ammonia. We are converting the organic nitrogen. So do you know the difference between organic nitrogen nitrogen and atmospheric nitrogen. Atmospheric nitrogen is the gaseous form of nitrogen which is present in the atmosphere. So con to convert atmospheric nitrogen to ammonia which process is helpful? Nitrogen fixation. Yes. But organic nitrogen is something else. When an organism excretes wastes or when an organism dies because our body is made up of a lot of nitrogen proteins nucleic acids all of them have nitrogen now when we excrete or when we die so the nitrogen in the tissues is in the form of organic nitrogen that is the nitrogen which is present in our dna or the nitrogen which is present in the amino acids of proteins those nitrogen they are the organic nitrogen they are in the organic form now what happens to that nitrogen? So when living organisms utilize the maybe the nitrates or nitrites or whatever, but those organisms when they die, what happens to that organic nitrogen? So something has to happen to that organic nitrogen also. So microorganisms decompose the tissue and release inorganic nitrogen back into the ecosystem as ammonia. And ammonia in turn is available for uptake by plants and their microbes for growth. So let us look at this diagram for a better understanding of the, all the four processes together. So this was atmospheric nitrogen. So this got converted into ammonia by a process called nitrogen fixation. Now this ammonia in turn got converted to nitrites and then to nitrates by a process called nitrification. Now this nitrite can further be converted back into atmospheric nitrogen and this process is called denitrification. Now what happens to these nitrates? These nitrates they get utilized by the plants and these plants in turn are get utilized by other animals that means basically all plants and animals utilize these nitrates directly or indirectly but when these plants and animals they die the nitrogen present inside their body in the form of nucleic acids or proteins that nitrogen is organic nitrogen so anything that is present inside the plant or the animal body that is organic nitrogen and this organic nitrogen gets converted into ammonia and that is how it is given back to the ecosystem. So this nitrogen also gets converted back to ammonia and this process is known as ammonification. Now who does ammonification? Now let's see who does each of these processes. So nitrogen fixation can happen by three processes. Uh, industrial, atmospheric and biological. Biological is um, biological occurs with the help of symbiotic bacteria present in the root nodules of leguminous plants. Nitrification happens again by prokaryotes. When you talk about ammonification, this also happens the microbes which are involved in this process are also the prokaryotes that is the bacteria and fungi. So bacteria and fungi they both help in the decomposition of the tissue and therefore they convert the during this during the course of ammonification the organic nitrogen gets converted to inorganic nitrogen. Why organic? Anything that contains carbon is called organic. So when you look at uh, whether a protein or a nucleic acid they all contain nitrogen but they also contain carbon. So that is why it is organic nitrogen. So these uh, prokaryotes and fungi they act on this, this organic nitrogen and convert it into inorganic nitrogen. 
which is given back to the uh, atmosphere in the form of ammonia. So this entire conversion takes place during the process of ammonification. So with these four processes in mind, now you can very clearly understand this picture. This picture might have seemed complicated when I started explanation of nitrogen cycle, but now it would appear simple. So see here, this is the atmospheric nitrogen. First step is nitrogen fixation. So nitrogen fixation can happen either by the bacteria which are living in the root nodules. So these are the symbiotic bacteria. So either by symbiotic bacteria or by the free living nitrogen fixing bacteria in the soil. So these two types of bacteria will help in nitrogen fixation. So they will basically convert the atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia, right? So both of them are doing the same thing. Now then in the next step what's happening is nitrification. So the ammonia is getting converted to nitrites and then to nitrates and this process is nitrification and the bacteria which are involved in doing this are called nitrifying bacteria. Now these nitrates are then utilized by the plants directly. Whereas there are certain set of bacteria which can convert these nitrates back into atmospheric nitrogen. This process is called denitrification and these bacteria are called denitrifying bacteria. Now these plants and animals, whoever utilizes the nitrates, they all contain nitrogen in their body. So when these plants and animals die, the organic nitrogen in their body is acted upon by the decomposers, that is bacteria. So these decomposers then act on the organic nitrogen, convert them into inorganic nitrogen and then into ammonia. And that process is called ammonification. So in this fashion, all these four processes together tell us the nitrogen cycle that, that uh, is taking place in the ecosystem just to maintain the balance of net atmospheric nitrogen. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.